And we have turned. Welcome back to the stream, everybody. That was a song called Bust Up the Railway from uh, Final Fight 2. There we go. That's that's the one, you know, a game I had actually been intending to stream for a while, and I might sometime soon, but we'll see what happens. But yeah, that, that I played that one, because why not? And, uh, hmm. yeah, yeah. Honestly, don't know what else to say. It's been a while since I've streamed. I say that every time I stream nowadays, but that's just because work is so busy and a tired old man so you know there's that so without further ado we're going to dive into some more Kirby because well I would like to actually finish this sometime this year so I'm just gonna jump right into it right now you know funnily enough I'd actually booted up Animal Crossing not too long ago for the first time in half a year I guess since the last time I streamed it probably I don't know. It's a fun game. Animal Crossing is fun, but very often it's like, I feel like I'm not really doing anything in it, so I just kind of lose interest. Do you think the Beast Pack wants the Lala Ds for anyway? I had just gotten to know all of them when the pack arrived and started capturing everyone. We're far from the beast territory, so we thought building a town here would keep us safe. Thank goodness you came along, Kirby. How long have the Waddle Dees been stuck here, then? H had they built the town prior, and... I don't know. It's very confusing. I think there is actually a present code that I can use, because I think there's one for Kirby's 30th anniversary, because it wasn't too long ago that was the case. And I believe the code is indeed 30th. Let's see if I remember how to spell 30th, because my brain has turned to goo. That looks right, right? Aha! That code checks out! Your delivery present is already on its way. Look for it in front of your house. Hopefully it's something good and not a box full of dog poop. I got a cake in one of those things. know um let's 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 just carry on oh there, there's a bunch of uh bottle d's that i have not fully rescued as well so maybe i should backtrack for example let's take a look at uh well we don't have everything in Okay, so we got them all here, I just don't have the last one for the Tropical Terror. Which is to beat the damn boss without taking any damage. So let's try this again, for like the... fifth time. I'm trying to think to myself what the best, um, ability might be for this. Honestly, I came really close to beating the thing without getting hit last time, so the shock room might not be a bad idea. Go with that. I don't know if it's going to be much good for right now, but there are some abilities I can use. Like, I just didn't realize that... I, I didn't realize that you can... Well, the guard ability is one I basically never use, and you can actually dodge. And parry as well, I believe, if you have a certain weapon. Like, I'm pretty sure you can do a parry ability with the sword ability. But, um... One of the, uh, one of the challenges when fighting Claudia or Claudine, whatever the other boss's name is, is that you have to knock her off a pillar when she's... You know, when she's up on there throwing stuff at you, but if you do, like, a parry at the right time, you'll slow down time. So I think that's the best way to do it. I 
we have to fight this tree with this goatee again. I don't know why I find it so amusing, I just do. Honestly, to a degree, I think maybe the best thing to do is to fight him without abilities. Maybe I'll do that if I can't pull off this time around. The other thing I didn't realize about this fight is that you can actually jump on top of his roots after they stop moving and they won't cause you any damage. Which, his roots are the thing that usually fuck up my run. careful here because he's probably going to do the root attack again. Or maybe he'll just fling out coconuts again. bother trying to use the roots because I might end up causing damage to myself if I'm not careful. All this to get one measly little waddle dee. Kind of a cruel thing for me to say, actually. I'm sure he's not measly, I'm sure he's an upstanding gentleman. Upstanding gentleman who's trapped by a tree with a goatee. Almost got him. But now I'm just really, really afraid. There we go! Ah, hello, Rolls. Welcome back to the stream. Thank you for the sub, as always. Much appreciated. You have been bested, tree. Hopefully, you're having a lovely day, my friend. Okay, so I think that's all the Waddle Dees I need to get in this area. <laughs> Apparently so, according to the game. A lovely hot day there, you say? See, we've actually had pretty decent weather all week, until this weekend. Because, I mean, holy crap, it went up to, like, 20 degrees Celsius, I think, on, um, at one point on Wednesday or Tuesday or something. And now it's dropped down to below zero and it's raining, so, you know, why would you want good weather on a weekend? It's okay, that just means I can stay home and play video games, I guess. Okay, so what's the one I didn't get in Circuit Speedway? Reach the first race's goal within 20 seconds. Okay, alright. So we don't have any convenient shortcuts, do we?
Well, that was pointless. Okay, so that's how you do the turbo dash. Yeah, can't I just restart? Well, I'm gonna have to restart it when I get to the end. Okay, I don't know if there's any actual shortcut in this particular race. I probably just need to be more gooder. That's a big ol' oof right there. So the B is the Turbo Dash. Me just completely forgetting how the controls work was my main detriment there. I mean, I haven't played this game in a couple of weeks. Cut me some slack. Go, go, go! Cut as many corners as possible. Oh, son of a bitch! Is there a shortcut I'm missing? Or do I just need to jump across, um... Jump across the oil spills, maybe. Or the big pools of syrupy soda, or whatever it may be. It's very undetermined what exactly that, uh, that, that gunk is. I also slow down when I hit stuff, so maybe not hitting stuff is a good idea. He says as he hits everything. Son of a bitch! If anything, it took longer this time. I foresee this one being quite the nuisance. Because I don't see any shortcut that I that I'm aware of, at least, not like in the other races. And the only thing I can think of is that hitting stuff does seem to slow me down, but I don't know if that's even enough to really cause that much of a problem. God damn it! I just need to shave off like half a second. Eventually, I'm just gonna give this up and backtrack to it because I legitimately. I, I cannot. I simply cannot. Yeah, I'm still not going to be able to do it. Jesus Christ. The hell with this. I'll come back for it later. I don't know that I have the patience for that today. Alright, so what am I missing in the, uh... Yeah, let's get one in here. Or two in here. Well, I probably only know how to get the one. Oh wait, no, I was missing a, uh... I was missing a Waddle D. One of the hidden ones. Clear it without touching any Ghost Gordos. Yeah, the Ghost Gordos are the Spike Dudes, I believe. That dog in the rocket ship looks so sad. 
suppose I would be too if I was being mauled by an alien tentacle monster. I'm not into that kind of thing, I'm sorry to say. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Ghost Gordos are the spiky dudes. But of course, the real solution was just don't touch any of the ghosts. And... Yeah, then I get hit by one. I'm pretty sure that's not those things, though. If I remember my Kirby lore, I believe the Gordos are indeed the spiky dudes. And not touching spiky dudes is usually some pretty good advice. I thoroughly enjoy this particular mouthful mode. And I believe around here is where I'll run into the issue with the uh, Spike Gordos. I'm pretty sure I mentioned this the last time I went through some of these levels, but I wonder how many people died at these amusement parks. It really doesn't seem like it's very up to code, shall we say. Get the thing! I can't recall which way is the way I'm supposed to go. I think that's the way I'm supposed to go. It's not. I have to explore every nook and cranny because I, I just need to figure out where that missing Waddle Dee is. Okay, this just gives me money and food. But who doesn't want money and food? Two of the best things in the world. use money to acquire more food, so, you know, it's just wonderful. about these mouthful modes is it just looks cur m makes Kirby look wildly uncomfortable. He seems to be cool with it though, which is odd, but there we are. So that's Wobble D at our found, and it's the first one of the hidden ages I've seen.
Wait, I hear one. I hear one, but where the hell is it? Aha! Oh, it was just as easy as that. Well, maybe not that easy, because... Okay, thank god. I don't need to get mauled by the spiky ghost fellows of doom, thank you very much. giant light bulb. And run headlong into another ghost again. Oh boy, delicious green peppers. So if I can get through this without getting tagged by another ghost or, or any of them. Can't recall if there's any more in the level or not. The bomb! Interesting news I learned earlier today is apparently AMC has um, commissions, or it's a commission, they've acquired the rights, I don't know what the proper terminology is, I'm not a Hollywood man, um, they're gonna make a TV show based off of Alan Wake is what I'm trying to say, Lord knows when it's coming out, but I don't know, I find that kind of exciting, because as I've stated when I streamed it there a while ago, I do really like Alan Wake. It was a very good video game. It was one of the most interesting ones I'd played at that time period, and uh, it, it's just one that's really well suited for TV, I feel. Because it's very episodic in nature anyway, it kind of lays itself out like a TV show, and it takes a lot of inspiration from TV shows like Twin Peaks, so it just makes sense. That's not to say it's going to be great. It might be great. Who knows? But I'm glad that it's a thing that's possible. To do. And speaking of TV shows based off of video games, apparently people have seen previews of the first couple of episodes of um, the Resident Evil show that Netflix is doing, which to me sounded very suspect, but the previews so far have said that it's actually surprisingly pretty good, so, you know, I'll go in with an open mind. If you've forgotten what the premise of that show is, it involves Albert Wesker's daughters, because apparently he had a couple of kids. And they end up moving into, um... A new Raccoon City, which is a, a new city that's been built by Umbrella in South Africa. And the funny thing about this is that the... The showrunner told the, the guy who was watching the preview before he watched it, it's like, Oh no, the game the game's canon still happens. Or at least, for the most part, it did. So that just raises so many questions, because the show takes place, at least the first part of it, in the 2020s. Albert Wesker died in 2009, and he had split from Umbrella long before that. And the Umbrella Corporation fell to bits at the beginning of Resident Evil 4, so, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how they explain this. Caramouth Kirby. Kirby gained the mysterious mouthful mobility after he flew through that vortex. Now he can stuff an entire car into his mouth. When he does, he turns into a peppy pink car that can jump and use Turbo Dash. It's a nice day for a scenic drive. Turn up the radio. <laughs> Bolted storage mouth Kirby. Well, that's quite the mouthful, and, you know, I didn't intend the pun, but there it is. 
Or regain the mysterious mouthful mode after he flew through that vortex, and we can stuff all kinds of. Uh, and now we can stuff an entire set of lockers into his mouth. This one won't budge. Wiggle, 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 and whoa! He just took down a whole chunk of the. He just took a whole chunk of that wall down. Use this to find hidden roots you didn't know about. Jab hog. Turns those points up and then zing! Let him fly! Jab hog is famous in the, the new world for its spiky spines. They were short and cute when it was young, but they eventually grew into dangerous needles. It'll jab every anything that gets too close, so approach with caution. So we're missing a couple there, and we're missing two there, and that one that I don't want to bother with. But um, let's let, let let's investigate the new area for a bit first before I backtrack to see if I can find some more wallabies. Northeast Frost Street. Is this meant to be London? Are there more parallels with Winters from um, Earthbound? Because I believe Winters is meant to be in England, or the Earthbound equivalent of England. Is that a penguin? It's a penguin. That's a penguin! I didn't mean to do that, I meant to get rid of my ability. We need to eat that penguin. We need to eat the penguin to become him! Yes. Good. Good. Although that being said, I like the ranger ability better. The penguins, though. The penguins are pretty damn good. I like them. You know, as if that's going to come as a shock. Can't stop me, you adorable little bastard. A little hat. You don't need a hat, you're a penguin. Says the guy who has a penguin in a top hat as his avatar. place for a single coin to be. Penguins don't like soda. No. Yeah. For a minute, I thought I couldn't jump high enough to reach the damn thing. Yeah, I presume the star is the way I need to go. Ah, oh, there we go. 
Hello, friend. World's most violent vending machine has come to save your life. Well, I don't know if I'm the world's most violent vending machine. It was that one episode of The Simpsons, I guess, that ate somebody's arm. This is very strange. Why is it like this? I'm gonna leave you alone, Mr. Penguin. I've extolled the virtues of this game a few times while playing it, but I don't know I don't know if I've explicitly stated yet how much I love how the environments look. Oh wait, no, I still got it. But like the abandoned cityscapes and stuff, and the, I don't know, it's just such a visually appealing game, it's great. I figured there was going to be more of a challenge involved there, but I guess not. Not that I'm complaining, of course. That's not the pause button. That is. I feel like I should have seen more snow sculptures by this point. I get the feeling I may have missed some. Oh, there's one. Still feel like I may have missed some, though. All the same. I'm pretty sure that there's three tiers of upgrades for each... Well, I know there is, because I, I've got the third tier for the um, sword ability as well, after beating Men Knight. So I just can't help but wonder what the third tier of this ability might be. A bazooka, perhaps? A minigun? Some other excessive form of firearm that I can't really name right now? Ah, oh, stairs. I've seen the stairs in a while. Welcome back, Rolls. Now, I don't know if this is the case, but can I get over the gate? Nah. I'm barely remembering said Forgotten Lands. Again, it's been a while since I've played this. I do really like this new area, though. And not just because there's penguins. Admittedly, that's a large part of it, but not just because there's penguins. Now I'm going to have to destroy this one. Alas. There appears to be a crack in that wall. I'm assuming there's a Waddle Dee in there. Oh, wait, no, I think I see how I'm supposed to deal with that. Before I start, let's make sure I can't. Yeah, I can't. 
because it doesn't look like I need this set of stairs here. Damn it. Oh no, penguins. I do have to murder some more penguins, though. Which is very unfortunate, but there we are. Okay, that's all the hidden ones, at least. I've yet to come across the other hidden objectives, though, beyond the snow sculpture wall. You fellas are alright. I'm gonna let you live. Hello, B. Jonas. Welcome back to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. I'm doing pretty good. Thanks for asking. Well, you know, except for the fact I just got beamed in the head with a bone. Beyond that, I'm doing alright. Bean in the head with a bone in front of Big Ben. Also, it would appear I'm at the end of the level and I'm completely missing a lot of the wobbledies. Like, how many snow sculptures did I find? I'm missing one. I must have completely bypassed it. Unless there's one up there somewhere, which I doubt is. Oh, wait. Oh, wait! It's over here! Goodies. Well, okay then. Clearly, I'm going to need to backtrack. I don't know if it's just I've become less and less observant the further into the game I get. Or if it's legitimately... I'm the side, are we? Okay. Or if it's legitimately harder to find the extras. Bum block! Steak! Ah. Wild Edge. The mysterious Vortex brought Gigant Edge to the New World, too. They arrived before Kirby and fell in with the ranks of the Beast Pack. Despite the wild wardrobe change, they really stand out amongst the rest of the pack, but they still guard their stations with ferocity. Hooray! Metro on ice! My favorite skating show. I guess. Looks like it should be a thing, but it's not. Chain bomb treasure. Cast a line. Oh god, am I fishing with dynamite? Back memories of um, uh, Red Dead Redemption, I guess. Oof. Red Dead Redemption 2, you know, fishing with dynamite. I feel like I did this incorrectly. No, I know I did this incorrectly. <laughs> of course, fishing with dynamite in Red Dead Redemption 2 was always a bad idea. You actually lost honor for doing it. Okay, I feel like I'm being very excessive about this.
good thing I stopped caring about Sir is, um, dead to that, uh, shooting for the extra objectives on this. I cannot hit that fish. Okay, maybe if I fuck it here? Yeah, let's fuck it here. Oh, you know, speaking of Resident Evil earlier, as I did, if you weren't here for it, I was talking about the Resident Evil show that Netflix is apparently doing. But, um, I made something of an impulse buy last week, and I ended up buying a PS2. <sighs> because, um, one of the used game places I frequent had a couple in stock. God, that was terrible. But, uh, so I got a PS2, and I ended up picking up for fairly cheap Code Veronica X and, um, Mark of Cree. Code Veronica X, of course, being the Resident Evil game that was released after 3 in the main line of the series. And Mark of Cree is this action game that I remember being pretty good when I played a demo of it way back in the day. So yeah, eventually when I figure out how to get all that to play well with the capture card and all that jazz, I'm probably going to start streaming some Code Veronica, maybe. And I, I was wondering to myself last night if that would even count as like a Retro Sunday thing, because to me, to me, the uh, the PS2 is not that old of a system. And then I thought to myself, when did the PS2 even come out anyway? And I looked it up, and the PS2 came out in North America and Japan in the year 2000. The PS2 was 22 years old. In practically every area of the world, the PS2 was old enough to drink. <laughs> so... As much as I hate to admit it, it probably counts for Retro Sunday. So yeah, that's something I may do in the future. Oh, it's a sleepy fella! I think that ability just actually increases your health if you're low on health. I have no idea if you can upgrade it. I'd love to see if you can. I thought that was the case, but I wanted to test it. Well, that took forever. I wonder what the upgrade for the ice ability would be. Hopefully I'll come across it soon. The ice ability is not bad, but I usually find it doesn't have as much functionality as um, some of the others.
Aren't you a tough fella? Aren't you gonna set us up the bomb? Stand on top of two trains? Okay. The ice ability not having much functionality is also what speedrunners thought for like the first month. I'm assuming speedrunners have found out that they can use the ice ability to break the game somehow. I haven't actually looked up much in the way of speedrunning videos for anything in a while. I feel like I really should though. Because <laughs> it's always fascinating to watch. Trolls is still here. How is your um, speed running Link's Awakening been going? Because especially Legend of Zelda games really seem to uh, lend themselves fairly well to that kind of thing. Kind of on a break for a moment. That makes sense. As I believe I've stated before, I don't know that I'd ever be able to do it, because it takes me forever to finish even the shortest of games, because I just spend so much time at it. And they found this useful to fight some bosses quickly. I can see that. I feel like you'd probably be able to do a lot of DPS with the ice ability if you use, like, the blizzard thing that you can do when you dash. Kaboom! Uh, hello, friend. The little squeak he makes whenever he saves a Wobble D is just so adorable. Kirby is the cutest little Eldritch abomination. Ah! No doubt one of the uh, challenges for saving a Waddle Dee in this level is not getting stuck in the ice water. And I fucked that up at the very beginning, testing to see if I can get into the ice water. Two secret passages. I like how very Christmassy this area seems to be. Hey, there's hats! I'm sure Kirby could use a dapper hat. Who couldn't? thing to do is to go this way. Follow the flow of the Gordo. Oh boy, he's in there with milk and coffee. Nice.
Smash. Weedle is Kirby's most hated Pokemon. Oh, the other secret passage was so close to the first. Easy peasy. Good lord, I might actually get them all in the one go. That'd be something, wouldn't it? I am invincible! They'll all fall before me! I feel bad destroying those guys. No, you don't, you jerk. Ah, don't, don't smush me. Now, is that the way I'm meant to go, or is this a hidden way? I feel like it might be the way I'm meant to go. Oh, there's a comb. Oh, there's another comb. Oh no, that's a speaker. Oh, I thought I'd be able to do some sort of uh, new functionality with a speaker, but I guess not. Slippery. Ah, shoot. I almost had it, but I still got smushed. So there's really just the what? Ah, the one left. Of course, my question is, is there... Dude. You know, this would probably be easier if I let go of the cone, but no. The cone is mine. The cone is mine, and I am the cone. I may need it anyway. Ha! Check inside the shipping container. Perfect. Ah, shit! <laughs> ah, hello, Ashley. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. How are you not following me? I don't know. Lack of poor... I was gonna say lack of poor judgment, maybe that was the case. <laughs> but now you do have poor judgment, therefore you're following me. Smashy smashy! Now, see, when I said smashy, I meant the walrus, not me. politics schoolwork today. Fun. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds like a barrel of laughs. I think I'll stick with playing Kirby, thanks. That makes me, makes me realize I haven't had to do anything in the form of homework in a long, long, long time. I was actually toying with the idea of going back to school about a year ago to do what? I have no idea. But, I don't know, maybe sometime in the future, we'll see. Fair shop sign. This logo belonged to an auto shop named Holine Custom Autos, part of Holine Corp. 
Quilline also sold industrial parts, managed construction, and made all kinds of stuff, from buildings, streets, to amusement park rides. Remember, if it's quality, it's Holohein. Uh, perhaps it was. Bernard. This uppity pup is an expert marksman. Pew pew! He's quick on his feet as he patrols the new world. His eyes are hidden under his hat, but that doesn't seem to affect his aim. Also has an impressive sniffer that can track prey near or far. Yeah, the last time I did any particular form of school would have been when I did that print and production course in college, which was back in... Oh god, I graduated from that in 2010. That was 12 years ago. I'm an old man. Old man? Yeah, it looks like they finished a new building in town. Let's go take a look. Yes, let's. I mean, I suppose that program did get me a career for, like, nine years. Until that company got woefully mismanaged and then ran into the ground. That was a fun time. <laughs> Oh, Kirby 64 is coming to the Switch? I mean, that would make sense. It is technically Kirby's 30th anniversary, after all, and they do have the N64 thing on there. Which, I haven't upgraded my Switch Online thing to get that in the Genesis emulator. I was half toying with the idea of doing so, but I hardly ever really use the Nintendo Online subscription I have now. So I was thinking of maybe cancelling that for a little bit, just to save on some cash. Hell, at this rate that I'm buying old systems, I might end up getting an N64 at some point anyway. I'm pretty sure we do have a copy of Kirby 64 back home. I, I, next time I go for a trip out home, I'm going to need to see if I can dig up all the old games we have and see what I might want to cart in with me. I do have every PlayStation except for the 5 under one roof now, so... 145 Waddle Dees you save work together to rebuild Waddle Dees item shop. Buy a few items to help you on your adventure. Cool beans. God, this game's adorable. Hello, friend. What do you have? Hi there! Welcome to Waddle Dees item shop. We sell items that can give you temporary power boosts in a few different ways. You can even use more than one at a time, whether you mix a few together or just double up on one. You can only take one item with you at a time, though. Keep that in mind. So, which item would you like, Kirby? Doubles your health. Your health cannot exceed double the normal amount. Increases your attack power for 200 seconds. Stack it up to 5 at once. Increase your speed for 200 seconds. Stack up to 5 at once. Gotta go fast. Honestly, I don't know how frequently I'm going to be using these things. But let's get a couple anyway, just so I can go, like, super fast. Wait, I thought I was able to stock up five at a time. I guess not. I just wasted money. <laughs> oh well, whatever. Anything new I can do in the Coliseum? Okay, no, it's just the Midnight Cup so far. Where I had to pound the tarot of my best frenemy. Although I feel like King DDD is probably Kirby's best frenemy, let's be honest. What a neat little treasure! Oh, 
Oh, no problem, Ashley. Thanks for dropping by. It's greatly appreciated. The follow as well. And hopefully you have a lovely time doing your homework. <laughs> if that's at all possible. Oh. There we go. An ability that this ability can do that I completely forgot about. You know, hurling things. Everything just slowed down like that, but there we are. You know, I should maybe make more use of the needle ability because I completely forgot that this was a thing you could do with it. It's kind of fun, actually. You know, you just gotta keep rolling, 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 like Limp Biscuit used to tell us back in the 2000s. Was it Limp Biscuit? I can't remember. It was some awful 2000s band, no doubt. <laughs> about doing these things, it seems. Hooray! So drill... Opal Ranger. Um... Ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, let's do an R1 of the challenges and then do the next level. I like to, at the very least, finish off this area and try to get as many of the Waddle as I can. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get that 20-second one, though. <laughs> you know, the, 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 the Kerr one back in the amusement park. That one seems like it's going to be- oh god! Shit! Difficult is what I was trying to say. Because I got so close to doing it several times, and yet... Alas, it did not work. Windy, freezing seas! So, here during the winter, basically. <laughs> now, speaking of the PS2, and seeing how I'm playing a game on the Switch, um... Yeah, one thing I did last weekend, and it was really fun, um... The, a lot of the local streamers got together again. The, the, the pub that we all hung out in, we basically shut the place down. We were there until it closed, which is the first time I've done that in years. But um, one of the topics of conversation that came up was like the best-selling video game consoles. The PS2 is still the best-selling video game console. At like 155 million or something like that. Some silly amount like that. Oh crap. But the Switch is surprisingly catching up. I think the Switch has now gotten up to, like, fourth place 
when it comes to that. I feel like I'm meant to be able to get across that way. I'm gonna keep doing this until I die, no doubt. I need to get Voss in here to tell me what the definition of insanity is. However, that seemed to work, so... I remember to use my speed boost at some point. Hello, Bait! Welcome back to the stream. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. This sub is greatly appreciated, as always. Oh, God! Oh, Needle, please! I'm not doing too bad, how are you? It's been a long, busy, tiring couple of weeks, but... Relaxing with a bit of the old Kirby is always a good idea. <gasps> There's a boat! I really do get to travel the windy, freezing seas. Providing I don't die, because I've been doing a damn good ah, job in getting myself hit. Yeah, let's wait. There. Screw you. Honestly, I probably could have waited until I, um... Yeah, I came down here and got the thing. food. Oh hey, I need it because I somehow nearly murdered myself. Enjoy three meals at sea. I said we get complimentary meals on this cruise. I'm going to need them because I'm dying horribly. needs to stop. So, was there another food item here that I missed somehow? There's another hidden objective I missed, apparently. Oh, well, whatever. Unless, of course, it's something that doesn't get unlocked until... Ah! I reach the end of the area. Oh, uh, okay, I see what needs to be done here. Alright. We need more fire power, as it were. Seems like a handy ability to have in an area such as this. It'll blow me down. Quite literally, that's what's happening here. I 
thought I heard a Waddle D there for a moment. Oh, there he is. I will save you, friend. For a minute, I thought that cave was going to allow me to go somewhere. Really, I was mistaken. Aha! A thing! What was that? The Dragonfire Blueprint. Okay, so I can upgrade this to level 3, that's nice. Have some more untold destruction. What have we here? Jump into the secret underground room. Alright, throw him in the hole. Hmm, what have we here? I did it! Somehow! I thought for certain I was going to mess that up. Here to have possibly missed one. I guess we'll see. Hidden collectible! Find a cave that's safe from the wind. I found several little caves and sinkholes that were safe from the wind, but obviously that's not what they meant. Kirby gained the mysterious mouthful mode after ability after he flew through the pep. I mean they say the same thing every time you get one of these, but okay. Now he can stuff an entire set of lockers into his mouth. The golden thrash until you tip over. Hey, who put this behind the lockers? Fanta. The Battle of Blizzard Bridge. So many challenge areas. I should probably head back to town in a moment though to upgrade the uh, fire ability. See how I found the thingy for it. How dare they? How dare they dodge my expert fire?
Stop it. Stop shooting at me! I do the shooting! I have no idea how I haven't gotten hit yet. Oh, I actually managed to beat the, uh, time. That's a rarity, that. Let's uh, clear out one more. Oh, looks like they finished a new building in town. That was fast. So far, this doesn't seem like it's overly difficult. Nice! I think the tornado ability is new to this game. Pretty sure it is. I could be wrong, but pretty sure it is. Down. I didn't even know this was over here. 155 Waddle Dees, you say, have worked together to make the town even bigger. I'll play Flash Fish Fish is that the bah Flash. Fishing. Try to land some big catches. I really like this place. I, I, I like how... I like how alive the town feel, feels. Because every single Waddle Dee you rescue seems to appear in the town at some point or another. Well, I say that. It doesn't look like there's over a hundred of them here, but you get extra at least, so... <laughs> Sir, you need to increase my firepower. Boom, whoosh, this volcano's erupting. Harness the power of geothermal energy to spew lava in front of you. Blaze through enemies and make them feel the heat. Oh, wow. <laughs> so what does this do exactly? Holy crap. Oh, that's, that's, that's nice. I like that. Oh! There's, there's a practice room. I didn't even know this was here. Can I destroy Mr. Sandbag? Does anything happen if I destroy Mr. Sandbag? Another one just shows up. Now on the one hand, I like... I like how in Kirby Superstar you had like different moves and combinations that you could do with the abilities. In this game, I do like the um... The upgrade system. The upgrade system is pretty neat. I'm 
I'm going to beat this guy's score. He won't be happy for long. I like how, how Kirby gets his own special chair. Oh my god, the hat! I actually own a hat like that. Wait, give me a moment. <laughs> give me a moment. I'll be right back. I have returned. I have returned and I am now properly equipped for this fishing minigame. I told you I had a hat like that. The headphones don't really fit very well over it though. <laughs> but does the hat fit well over the headphones? Let's find out, shall we? Because I'm apparently obstinate enough that I need to wear the hat while I'm doing the fishing minigame. I think this is the best I can do. I mean, that works, right? But there's nothing silly about this. Right? Whatever. <laughs> when a fish bites, button icons will appear. Press the correct button as fast as you can. Don't let them get away. Look at how big that fish is. If you catch several fish in a row, you'll eventually snag a big one. Press the buttons quickly and try for a high score. <laughs> Kirby cosplay, kind of. Although at this point with that hat, I believe Kirby is more dressed like me than the other way around. Itty bitty. This, this is adorable. I love this. I don't know how many times I can say this game is adorable, but it is. It remains too freaking cute for its own good. Eventually I'm going to be crushed by one of these things. Like, how long can I keep this going, I wonder? How big of a fish can I get? Obviously, I wasn't fast enough. Okay, they've downgraded one size now because I screwed up. Let's try it a few more times. Can I get one that's over 10,000 grams? That one's only slightly bigger. I was so close. Caught me off guard, that did. Well, I'll keep going until I either catch something that's over 10,000 or I'll, uh, or I screw up. Let's see.
Oh, here we go. Whoa, that's one big goddamn fish. Oh, nice. Oh! Fishing pond Kirby. Ah, Kirby's doing a bit of fishing at the old fishing pond. He looks super, super relaxed. Maybe too relaxed. Hey, pay attention, Kirby. There's exciting stuff swimming in that pond, including the legendary bling blipper of Waddle Dee Town. I'm presuming that was the fish I just caught. Okay, th th that must have been the biggest thing I was able to catch. <laughs> uh, that's that's pretty good. I like that. Anyway, let's let's mosey along to the bridge. I believe that's the next area I need to go to. The Battle of Blizzard Bridge. How excessive is this going to be, I wonder? Not a good start. No doubt some of the challenges in this particular um, area are going to be to defeat bosses for certain powers or some such bullshit. This tends to happen. Stuff you couldn't possibly know unless they told you. Or you did it by accident. Ah! Look at me, I'm the Meta Knight! Pointless. Okay, it looks like I need to leave and come back for it to respawn. There we go. Now I am the cone. Hello, friend. It's me, your savior, the traffic cone. <laughs> I like how it's just Meta Knight's mask on top. Okay, I need to find a bunch of Lana posters. Hopefully I haven't missed any at this point. Don't think I will, though. Only soon. I've lost my um, beam sword ability, sadly. And then Kirby ran. The tornado ability is fun, but I think I'll hang on to my sword, thank you. Penguin. Although, it seems like this level must be structured in such a manner that I need those abilities to uh, 
do these things. Tunes in this area are pretty, pretty rad, I must say. Aha, there we go. I like how most of the wanted posters I've been finding so far are for Elphalin and not, and not Kirby. Oh god, it just occurred to me. The name Elphalon, is that meant to sound like Evelyn? Is that- is that what the joke is? Have I only just now gotten it? <laughs> My name is Elphalon. This entire time I've been calling you Evelyn! Oh look, he's a cyclone too. Just the old school way. heard Wobble D as well. And then Kirby ran. Oh look, a conveniently placed car. I thought I heard another one out here. Oh, down there. Alright. I'm coming to get you! What a weird, harrowing place for that one to be held. Pardon me. Did you... Did you really need to swing your butt at me like that, Frosty? Ow. Careful, I'm going to be murdered. I've been eaten. How does it feel when the shoe's on the other foot, Kirby? Whoa! 
Oh. Yeah, I presume I need the ice ability for something ahead, so... I'm presuming I missed a lot of extra stuff this time around. Ah! The Frosty Ice Blueprint! Ooh. Okay, I'm presuming I need to do something else like before I do that. Oh! That! I need to do that. Okay. So yeah, I'm missing a bunch. Well, two, I suppose. But still, two's a bunch. I'm going to dazzle you with my six skating moves before I rescue you. So what was I missing? Peak Twin Wild Frosty without getting hit. Well, I sure as hell didn't pull that off. They damn near murdered me. Is your pointy head to jab below you and bust open cracks on the ground or on pipes? You're out of control, Kirby. Get out, game. Surprise alien board. So who's the boss of this area, I wonder? Oh shit, is that DDD? <laughs> He's got a big hammer! The Waddle Dee's helped you open the gate that was blocking your way. Head onto the stage and challenge the boss, skirting this territory. Unexpected Beast King. That's him, isn't it? It's gotta be. Okay, let's uh, clear out these um, challenge areas and head back and upgrade the Frosty ability first. Sliding Road. High Speed Skate. Amount of jump height, eh? Cool. Long boy Gordo. Yeah, the long boy Gordo are kind of a new thing too. Is that a strand of DNA in the background? I've only just noticed this. A weird arena. Stop time. Slow world scramble.
Okay, I don't really understand how that's supposed to work. Let's try it one more time. Of course, you do know I have the speed thing, so why don't I just use that as well? Or, you know, that can happen too. I think I'll try that later. I'll admit I don't fully understand how that power works. It seems like I can re-up it somehow, like like I can keep it going. But maybe if I went back to town and read the um, ability description, that might help. Bustling town. While I'm here, maybe I'll buy another one of the speed boost things. Er, so cold. Can you see your own breath? Take a chunk of ice. Kick, then kick it forward. Skate and slide wherever you go. You'll even glide right over a mud of magma. That's amazing. He's even got the little, like, ass patch. <laughs> oh, and you can make a frosty snowman. You can make multiple frosty snowmen. Frosty ice gives you chilling powers and a really cute hat. Blow out freezing blasts of air and create a line of snowmen. Aw, they all have Frosty's face. He must be so proud. I like how I had to murder two of them to get that ability, but there we are. I didn't think the crash abilities boom could get any biggest dirt. Don't break time itself, slow down time, then act fast, cause some real destruction. Okay. It didn't really tell me anything. Fair enough. You! Give me some speed! Wait, no, that, that came out wrong. I like that I apparently still have a speed boost. It appears it pauses as long as you're not in uh, in a level, which is neat. Spin! I didn't realize I could do that. Like, pirouette. That's, that's pretty good. I like that. Anyway. Well, sir. Spin skate. I mean, there does appear to be a giant palace, so if that is DDD and it looks like him, it makes sense. Looks like something out of Legend of Zelda, honestly. Like the like the Snowtop Temple in um, Twilight Princess. So look at all these cages. What sort of abilities do I have to work with here? Well, I got a few different options. You know what, if this is who I think it is though, and it seems very likely it's DDD, let's go up against some, like, the old school way. I was wondering why I was glowing, but the speed boost, yes. Skating upstairs does seem strange, doesn't it?
Yeah, that's him. It's everyone's favorite giant murder penguin. King DDD's theme in this game is great. <laughs> Honestly, it's one of the things that made me want to get the game eventually. <laughs> uh, like, it was one, one of the things that sold me on it, because I heard the theme before I even played the game, and it's just, I don't know, it's just really good. Even though this is in 3D, he still basically fights the same. I really love this design for him, too. It's the same as in basically every game. Like, like, he's got a lot of the same moves that he does in um, the original Dreamland and in Kirby Superstar and stuff. Although this is new! Swallow King DDD's hammer! Oh, if you don't need it, I'll use it. Because, like, the jumping slam move he does is something he does in a lot of the games. The fact that he runs towards you and then trips is another thing he does frequently. It's just cool seeing it in the 3D arena. It's true, he isn't doing the trying to eat you thing that he does in most other games. The homing bomb blueprint. Now you can evolve the bomb ability. Here without guarding. Well, I mean, I usually forget that I can even defend myself in this game, so... What's happening? Where's he going? Okay, I had to clear it within a set amount of time. No! Weird chinchilla looking friend. And now I'm all alone. All alone with a couple hundred Waddle Dees, I guess, but all alone all the same. So this is like an archipelago of islands, perhaps? Original the Wasteland. Elphalin has been captured by King DDD. Explore the next area and save Elphalin. The waste where life began.
Well, I don't know if I'm going to straight up finish this area, but maybe I'll do a level on it and then go back and try to collect the wobble bees I've missed. Stretch and collect. time. I did it again. Oh, not the spit out the ability thing. Or, you know, what I just did. I didn't think I was able to go straight off of it like that, but apparently I was mistaken. I'm running out of time! did it again. Why do I keep doing that? You think I'd know how to control the game by now? Clearly you'd be mistaken. I'd be lucky if I'm gonna even make it now. Come on. Barely! Barely did it! Yeah, let's check out this level and then we'll head back to Wobble D10. The waste where life began. I like how the game has gotten more intense now that we've run into DDD for some reason. Hunting in the desert sounds like a good time. Oh, what do you think the odds are? There's something hidden up on the edges of the map here. Slim to nil, perhaps, but I may as well check. Oh, I, I can just straight up rove wherever I want in this area, it seems. This is much more open world than most of the other levels. Although I suppose I have to go on a hunt throughout this area looking for more of those thingamabobs. What is that? I get the feeling if I walked into its ah, I walked into its vision, it would try to eat me. I 
I like how there's just the little needle dude in the battle arena for some reason. Well, I mean, there was, and then I murdered him. shoot an enemy while they're down, but that's exactly what I just did. Hello, Waddle Dee friend. How do I free you? Our blueprint. need this to do it, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. Or maybe I need to get the rest of the crystals to open the gate. What an odd place to find a beach ball. I presume that's the way I have to go, so let's leave that off for now. It's a big dead clam. Oh look, a target. flying targets. I'm going to need to go back and get the Cyclone ability. Defeat the Lost Squishy. So this poor Squishy who's out in the middle of the desert, so far from home, I had to murder it. One can say I just put it off its misery either way. So where's the other? Oh, there's the other target. Right. Excellent. So there's. Three hidden model Ds and um, whatever the last um, hidden challenge is, I guess. I know there's a fellow up there, I just gotta figure out how the hell I'm supposed to get to him. I wonder if the game is ever going to give us any explanation as to what happened to this world, because this looks like an apocalypse here. <laughs> So I'm missing a crystal somewhere. Just a matter of where. Ah, oh, there's a treasure chest. But how do I get it? Oh, wait, no, I see how I get it. I didn't even need the Cyclone ability, I 
just needed this. Push! Push! Crap. Push! Hello, friend. Come to rescue you. From this horrid, arid place. Call the horde errant place and then I destroy some of the plant life like a like a monster. see what I need to do here. Well, this for a start. Hello, friend. Same thing here, it seems. Secret tunnel! I see a random lizard just run away from me? in here. Lord knows what I need to do to rescue that last one, but I guess we'll find out. There's probably no need for me to hang on to this ability for as long as I have, but here we are. It's a resort town. Interesting. <laughs> Defeat Florina using the ring map. How was I to know that I was supposed to do that? Gigant sword. This big old sword is definitely gigantic. It's a bit hard to swing around, but it'll keep you well guarded. Use it to shield yourself from an attack, then go on the offensive. Noble Ranger. The most experienced of marksmen requires the fanciest of hats. Good point. Fire a barrage of shots with dual wielded pop guns. You can release a flurry of charged shots too. Pew, pew, pew. Cordobar. 
Sounds delicious, but it's very spiky. You shouldn't eat one. Searching the oasis. And slice, gigant sword try. was probably ex somewhat excessive, but I see I'm better off. It's probably faster for me to just attack. Of course I have to fight two of them. Hit you. Right, let's head back to town and maybe um uh, try to find some waddle dees I missed along the way. I believe I have a couple of upgrades I can make use of. Oh, what's this? 180 Wall of D's you've saved work together to rebuild the games booth. Now you can play Tilt and Roll Kirby. This, I've heard, is annoying as hell, as most Tilt and Roll games are. You so sad about. Oh yeah, that's right, our friend got kidnapped. Elfling got captured by King DDD? That sounds odd, even for him, does it really? I hope they're both okay. We can't just stand around, let's go save Elfling. I don't know, DDD is kind of a jerk sometimes, so, you know, is it really that odd? Is it really? blueprints to give me. And I have two. I don't know if I call that so many, though I do usually only come in with one, so... Hi. Got a little radar dish on his head. Toss a homing bomb, then watch it get to work. It'll patrol the area until it spots an enemy, then race towards them and explode. Chain bombs together to corner your foes. Hi. 
Ooh. Bling bling. Ooh, how pretty. Ouch, and sharp. At least the button while rolling to launch spiky crystals in front of you. you can also roll longer and leave spikes in your wake. Oh, cool. Let's go see what the tilt -a whirl roll thing is. tilt -a thingy. First, let's attack my friends. Step right up! Get your hands on the latest, greatest game in town! Tilt and roll, Kirby! Come and try it out sometime, Kirby! Your name's in it, after all. Just stand in front of the game at my booth, then press A to play! Everything, you huckster. Oh god, tilt controls. Tilt the controller to guide the balls to the goal markers. Okay. If you successfully reach the reach each goal, you'll win a reward. Try harder difficulties to get greater rewards. Okay. Oh, I'm going to hate this. I finished the easiest of them. Good for me. You're pretty good at this game, Kirby. I've added a new difficulty for you. Give it a try. I swear you're not going to want to eviscerate me by the time you're done. Oh, there's two. Wait, what? Am I supposed to get both of them to the end? Damn it. Oh, <laughs> oh this is going to be uh, quite the exercise and frustration, I feel. Oh, wait. Nope. Aha! It wasn't as awful as I thought it would be. This is going to be problematic, I feel. <laughs> not a not a good start. <laughs> I feel like this would probably be easier in handheld mode, you know? No! I feel like worrying about speed at this juncture is less important than worrying about actually making it to the end without falling into the abyss. Ah, no! I was so close. <laughs> Alright, now I'm just not even trying. See, the thing is, I always sucked at these games. I 
and Mia motion controls typically don't get along very well. Let's go hog wall. Let's try to get... Okay, no, that was stupid. Alright, let's try the normal path. Maybe one last time. Okay, let's try the normal path. One last time. One last time. I didn't even fall off the- no, this game is rigged. There. I have expressed my displeasure. Just leave this place, never return. For ruin everybody's day. What this guy tell me again. Oh yeah, he tells me where I can find blueprints and stuff. Blueprint for a new tornado evolution is hiding in the latter half of the Wonderia Dream Parade. Wonderia remains. This popular Waddle Dee cafe item is Maximum Tomato. So far, you've saved 184 Model Ds. I'm good, thanks. Okay. <laughs> this special figure! It's me! Wise Waddle D. When you need wisdom, visit Wise Waddle D. He always has a tip handy and seems to know a lot about this new world. His magical encyclopedia can collect and share rankings from all over the world. Where did he even find that book? Alright, so I've got everything on Everbay Coast. I don't have everything on Wonderia Remains. I don't want to try to get that one again. So let's go to the Dream Parade. What am I missing here? Remove Elphalyn's Wanted poster. Let's see if I can figure out where the hell that even is. It's after the ducklings, I know that much at least. the ducklings to get myself a little bit of extra cash money and feel good about myself as well. There's some of the few animals in this strange new world that don't want to murder me, so you know, it's very novel. bunch of milk bottles. Very confusing. Alright, so now I gotta be on lookout for a wanted poster. There must be one around here somewhere. I cannot run that train. Should not have done that.
Is there perhaps something back here? It does not appear to be the case. What I do need to do, however, is... Head back up here and use the tornado ability again. For ice cream and money. The finer things in life. Now perhaps the wanted poster is down here. Maybe it is, I could be mistaken. Let's have a quick gander around. And, well, I suppose I may as well actually complete the challenge, because, I don't know, funny. Kirby needs the cash monies, for reasons. Appear like it's here. The investigation continues. Oh, there it is right there, for free sake. Yes, because I think the last time I was here, I had seen it. But I saw it just as I went out the door, so... that, maybe. Well, not really. Oh, no, because I need the water thing. Wait a minute. I can destroy that wall as well. I think I missed that last time. Maybe that's where the blueprint I'm looking for is. Aha! Success! Door Tornado Blueprint.
I saw one OD I'm missing, but I don't know what I need to do. I might not find out until I finish the level, honestly. Yeah, because I'm here now. Clear without stepping on any mud. Okay then. Another one of those, how was I supposed to know? Quantum posters. Kathy! Alright, so I think I've got all of them except for the one left in there without stepping on the mud. And um, that one on the speedway. Well, yeah, the ones in the boss arena, which I'm gonna go try to get one of those now. Hit high up chlor chlorine. chlorine using Ranger. I need to make use of the dodge ability for that, I think. I think she doesn't do that till the second stage of the fight, so... Using the dodge ability seems like the way I need to do that. Or I can do that. <laughs> I swear to god, if one of the things was to fight her without getting hit. I think I mentioned it before, but this kind of reminds me of fighting, uh... Oh god, what was his name again? Logway. Logway from Yakuza Zero. <laughs> Only a little, though. I guess I have the sword ability now. I guess I have no ability now. So I still have three other things I need to do here. I'm assuming one is probably beat her within the time and another one is probably beat her without getting hurt. Defeat without hovering. Okay. That might be easily enough done. Let's go into the fight and try that again, then. Probably 
probably stick with the ranger ability again. I think that might be the best one to attack her with. For some reason, I noticed the cape, but I didn't notice the hat last time. He does have a hat. Fancy that. Hat and a hat. Dodging. made a mistake and jumped, and if I jumped I probably would have hovered. I'm pretty sure I didn't hover, I swear to god if it tells me I did. Kirby does his lonely dance. Slowly but surely I'll defeat all the challenges. Slowly but surely. Head back to Waddle D Town and feed some money into one of those machines, so I'll probably leave it at that for today. Got to get the figurines, don't you know? Oh, and the upgrade, I should deal with that too. Actually, out of those gems now. Hmm. Some fancy headgear. Oh yeah, there's a um, treasure portal I wasn't able to get to because I didn't have this. 
Grace, elegance, beauty, and brutal attacks. Pull your enemies into a flurry of feathers and turn battles into sophisticated ballets. Ow, oh, hurts almost as much as point shoes. Now, which of these um, do I have less of? Volume 2, probably. Yeah. Soft drink. Kirby has a has an addiction here. Face cut out photo stand. Tub of popcorn. Eesh. Alien board. Okay, I'm starting to get a couple of repeats now. Animal sand sculpture. We'll switch. Let's try a few more. Kirby Burger. Delicious. Ah. Unfriendly fronds, tropic woods. Fresh ocean air and warm sunlight help tropic woods grow big and strong. These giant coconuts will cause big explosions after they drop. It has non-exploding coconuts too, and they're supposed to be delicious. Few have ever tasted them, but many have tried. Stuff an entire metal ring into his mouth and use it for boating. Use blasts of air to move your boat and slam into enemies. You can even bust through cracked walls. I'll go until I get one more repeat, maybe. We'll run out of money. Spook step. Okay, yeah. Already got that one. I didn't mean to do that, but there we are. <laughs> Let's leave this place. Uh, well, sir, I think I'm going to call it quits there for today. Over to the webcam there. Okay, so if you happen to stop by to watch, I thank you very much for doing so. I'm 38% done Kirby now, apparently. <laughs> Go figure. Uh, hopefully you'll join me again next time, which I'm hoping, fingers crossed, will be tomorrow so I can actually carry on with some Retro Sunday. I'm planning to stream probably some Mystical Ninja and something else. I don't know if it's going to be a retro game, it's going to be something I've already streamed before, if I'm just going to start something new, which is a very ill-advised thing to do considering I've got a pile of games that I haven't played in ages and I need to finish, but we'll see what happens. Until then, however, as always, I thank you very much for stopping by to watch if you did indeed do so, and until then, I wish you a farewell, and I hope you have a great day. So long for now.